is Charmaine from Fantastic Crafts. I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful day. Hello, live viewers and replay viewers. This is my third try on this live video. My internet just has not been behaving today, so we will see how this goes. Um, worst case scenario, I may just record the whole video and then perhaps I will um, edit it later and then go from there. But I think we are okay. Actually, I'm going to be positive. I'm pretty sure we're okay. So, I wanted to play with Fade Out Ink. <laughs> it's, it's so funny because this is the third time I'm saying this. <laughs> okay, I wanted to play with Fade Out Ink. Fade Out Ink is an Ink on 3 um, product. And uh, what it does is it does no line coloring. I'm not the best with no line coloring, so we will see how it goes, right? Okay, let me zoom you guys in so you don't have to see all of my messy desk. Let's kind of tilt you guys. So I'm also going to be using her um, stamp set, and this one is called, um, let's see, Magical Unicorn. And I don't have a unicorn stamp set, so I was super excited to play with this. So let's just kind of get this. We're going to be using, um, let's see, let me show you guys this really quickly. It's called Magical Unicorn. It has um, real sentiments like unicorn, hugs, kisses, and unicorn wishes. I believe in you. Happy birthday. You are magical. Be you. I love it. I love this um, sentiments it has. And this is what I'm going to be stamping out right now and then coloring with uh, Prismacolor pencil. So let's see how it goes, right? Alrighty. I have been so excited to try this out. Now because this is a new stamp set, I, I do want to kind of stamp it once before just so... Sometimes when you have a new stamp set, it just is a little too, um, or you can just kind of rub your hand on it too, so. It just beads up a little bit when you put your ink on it. You know what? While we're at it, why don't I try there? I also bought this, their blackout ink, so I can test it with that or do a trial one with that, right? Okay, I have the scrap paper. Oops, there we go. Let's ink this bad boy up. Bad girl, bad boy, doesn't matter. Alrighty, oops. Let's do this on my scrap paper that you can't really see because it's all white. Uh, see, because it, um, because of that, um, because it's a new stamp set and I haven't used it before, it's hard to get all the little details because of that. It's not because of the stamp itself. Let me just wipe it all off and now I can do the other one. Or actually, let's do the uh, fade out once more to give it a, you know, a valid test there. Not test, but you know, just uh, let's do it and not have people think it's not a good ink because I really do think it is. Hello, Marissa. How are you doing this evening? I know it may be late for some or most. Just hold it down for a little bit. Hmm, this part didn't stamp. I think it's because I don't have any kind of padding or anything. And I think my, because look, there's still ink on it. So I think it really is because my table is not completely straight. But that is nice, look at that. It's kind of cool. Okay, so let's wipe this off. And I have to just remember to press a little harder on this part because of my table. So the 
this is the fade out ink just really making sure that covers everything then let's get my paper out then I will stamp this right here I gotta remember to really press it everywhere because I just finished my card class cleaning up Melissa says Marissa I'm sorry um wow card class that's fun What kind of card did you make today? That did better. That's cool. So I know you can see it right now. Oops, I'm off screen. I'm sorry, guys. I know you can see it right now. And it's a little faded on this side because I didn't press as hard as I was pressing over here. But it does fade. Like, it's interesting how the fade out ink is actually fades out. <laughs> I know, silly, right? Um, but it's really cool what it does. I haven't tried it with colored pencils, so I'm really, really um, excited about that. Maria Marissa says, every Tuesday, graduation card night. How awesome and fun. Ooh, I would like to do that. I need to have a group of, as soon as um, life calms down a little bit for me here, I want to do that. <laughs> Some kind of a crafting night or something. It'll be fun. I'm just going to choose a few colors. And it's a unicorn. So, let's see. These are all Prisma colors that I have. I should go with the purples and all that, right? Purple, pinks, or rainbow. Just a mixture of everything. Alrighty, let's see. You've never used it, Marissa? Marissa says she has a fade out ink and she's never used it. So it's a good time to come and play and join me in playing. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with some of these. Let's see if I have another one. I feel like I need a shade in between these two and I just don't have it. Yeah. Maybe there's something I do need to buy in the crafting world. <laughs> it's always a reason to buy. Okay. So let's put this to the side and let's let's start with these two first. Um, this is, let's see, I am going to be using PC956. It's called Lilac. And also PC1008, also called Parma Violet. Nice names. Alrighty. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with the lighter and I'm going to, let's work on, let's see, let's work on one little flower. Okay. Oh, let's zoom you guys in more. There you go. Let's work on this flower. And what I want to do is I want to shade, do my shading right now with my lightest. And that's just, hi, Clint. Let's see. Did I say the wrong name? Let me know if I, um, you like to be called a different name or Clint is okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm going to go with this and I am going to make some shadows. I know this is the lighter one, but I am just not sure if, where I want to make my shadows yet. So I'm not gonna commit. Oh, look at that. So, oops, sorry guys. Um, I'm trying to see. See, as soon as I colored that in, it became that purple. And that's the fade out ink. This is what it does. It just holds on to these colors, any color you put on. Okay, awesome, Clint. All right, so I'm going to, I know there's gonna be some shading right there. There's gonna be some shading right there. I want to do, of course, where these flower things are. And some shading right here. So wherever I feel like there should be some sh um, some darker spots. And what I like doing is like, just pretty much the this leaf goes on top of this one. So I'm sure there's gonna be a little bit of shade right there, right? 
darker spots. I'm not a professional colorer, <laughs> but this is just kind of how I do it. Some shading right there, right there. Shading right there. So I kind of have an outline of where I want it shaded. And then, I'm sorry guys, let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take my um, darker color and I'm still not sure at this point if that's where I want it shaded. So I'm just going to, this is my darker color, not my darkest. So I do have a darker. Oops, that wasn't even the leaf. I mean, that was a leaf. Did I get one of the leaves? Yeah, see, that's the leaf. That's the flower. I believe so. It's okay. We can fix it later. So I'm just going to do more of this. Shade it, shade it. There you go. Um, there you go. Okay. Let's see, put a little bit more right there. And this is my darkest color. Uh, Clint says, I used to be, but my coloring is slow. <laughs> um, my coloring is uber slow. I don't know what I'm doing here coloring because it's gonna take me years. So I may not finish this. <laughs> this is a uh, process red PC994. I'm also gonna go in with this and do some more shading. This is going to really intensify the shade. So let me just kind of add it. I'm, I'm literally just doing scribbles at this point. And we will see what happens. It's all practice, right? Alrighty, so I did that. Now I'm going to go with that lightest color. And again, this is Lilac, PC956. And then I'm going to start blending in the leaves all the way. I'm just going to blend, blend. I'm pressing this rather hard. You don't have to press this as hard as I'm doing it. You can do light, actually light, uh, layers is the best way to do it. Just kind of. What's really neat about this fade out ink is that it just kind of traps that uh, ink, the color of whatever color you're using. So you're not really missing um, you, you don't lose all that detail. It's hard to like talk and color finding out. Is that something you guys, uh, struggle with as well? Am I the only one? You could take your time with this. I don't know why I'm uh, doing it so, well, I'm doing it fast because I really don't want to take all of your time. And I wanted to also see, yeah, I do too, I'm, I mess, I mean, come on now, look at that, it's, it's a hot mess. <laughs> I do want to use my Gamsol. This is alcohol ink blending pen, but I filled it with Gamsol. So I do want to kind of, let's see, get this. I want to see how it reacts with the fade out ink. So I'm just going to use it to blend all that color in. I'm sorry if this is making a lot of uh, squeaky noises. I do apologize for that. Okay. 
Now, once you kind of see how it is, you can go ahead and add more sh shade to the places you think need them. But this Gamsol helps that a lot. So now you can see it. And Fade Out ink is working just fine with this Gamsol. So that's exciting. Very exciting, okay. Uh, uh, Marissa says I need to get a couple of those pens. Yeah, these are great for, you know, um, any kind of blending or putting anything in really. So I can see like, I feel like I've lost a lot of depth around here. So I'm just going to be giving some more color. Kind of add some dimension, that's what we're doing. And I am really kind of scribbling on it. You, you don't have to do that, but the reason I'm doing it is because I'm not a patient colorer. <laughs> I'm very impatient. So I just kind of want to like go with the flow and just color the next thing. Alrighty, so let me blend it a little bit more. See how that works. That's nice. go and then I think I will do some dark colors in the center and some light colors kind of go in with this and blend it this is really nice that the Gamsol doesn't make the the fade out ink like spread and stuff, so I'm I'm excited about that. I'm just gonna scrap a piece of paper so I can just wipe that off. Alrighty, let's get the green so I can do some of that. The leaves. Let's see. Um, white, dark, and a little bit of yellow-ish green. Yellowish green. Alrighty. So this time I'm going to be working with Apple Green, oops, Apple Green PC912, and then it's going to be Lime Peel, which is PC1005, and then it's going to be Grass Green PC909. So let's see how these work. Let's go with the yellow color first. And just kind of put my shading there. I feel like I'm this one I need to go a little slower because the first few things I was going super fast and it doesn't look as good when you go so fast. <laughs> you can go fast but not as fast as I was going so hopefully this time it's a little better. Let's go with this just to kind of reinforce those dark colors. And go with the darkest, just kind of. There we 
we go. I'll go with the lightest color just to kind of blend everything in. Awesome. I think I'm going to go a little bit more with this dark. Go. Let's go with that gamsol again and just blend it all out. That is neat. I like that leaf a lot. You know when you're coloring, you just see certain parts you like better the way you do it. I like that part much better. I mean, these are nice too. But that's kind of cool that it really just picks up on those colors. That's what's really cool about this fade out ink. It's really neat. I'm really digging that. That's really cool. Okay, so let's see. I really want to do, I want to do the flowers, but I also really want to do the unicorn's horn. Is that what it's called? Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> I really want to do that, and I really kind of want to do that. And, um, Part of me wants to do it in blue. Let's do blues. Yeah, let's do the blues. Blues. Bluish greens. So for this, I will do aquamarine, PC907, uh, 905, I'm sorry. Then parrot green, which is PC1006. Um, and also, let's see, light aqua, PC99. Two. Alrighty. So this is the lightest one, and I'm going to be doing my shading with that first. Just kind of build my shade where I think there would be. You know what I've I've also learned is that the more you color, the more you learn. So I feel like um, every time I color, it just gets better. And if you're passionate about what you color, turns out that that makes a difference too. Okay, so let's go with the medium and just kind of This darkest, which I thought was the darkest, but I don't know. Okay, let's go with that light color now and just blend it all in. And then we can take our Gamsol and really blend everything in. You know, not every, every kind of ink can you use uh, Gamsol with, so I'm really, really Liking the fact that you can with the feet out ink. I'm gonna go in and kind of do a little bit more of that dark shade.
How neat is that? That's really pretty. I love those colors. Really nice. All right. Um, let's do another one of these flowers, like this little tiny one. That would be nice. Okay. Let's go with the latest color. Let's kind of draw out where I think my shadows would be. I'm really bad about the shadows, like where to see where they go. I just don't, you know, some people can visualize it. I just, I just can't. So I'm not the best person, but I did want to play. Cause you know what? You don't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. And I wanted to have fun today. the lightest and just blend it all in before you do the true blending with the gamsa. That's really pretty too. I'm really liking these little flowers. They're so pretty. All right, for this one, I think I'm gonna just start off because I kind of know what I um, like shadows in. So like right over here, I know I want some shadow right here. Let's see, right here. some shadow so I'm just wherever I think there would be some shadow I'm just putting some darker color on it let's see I believe this is part of the flower as well the flowers now let's go with the second color just kind of do the same thing I did just making little streaks or little dabs I don't even know what it's called just little lines I guess Take that lightest color and just blend it all in. Remember, your, I think that was a leaf, but it's okay. It's going to be part of a flower now. Um, the Gamsol really does blend everything really, really in. So I'm not as worried about the blending with my um, Prismacolor.
Then I'm just going to go back with that dark and just kind of do a little bit of shading just to sometimes you lose some of that shading when you use the gam saw so you just kind of want to make sure that it's still visible Okay, let's swipe that off. Let's do the little green leaves. I love coloring those leaves. They're really fun to do. There's some leaves right here. I think I'm going to just... How pretty is that? Isn't that just really pretty and just, I don't know, I really like that. Now, I can probably do this for ages and hours and hours, but I think it probably will take a while. Um, I'm really enjoying it, so I don't know if I should stop it. I guess if anyone gets bored, you can either fast forward or you can, um, I don't know. Let's see, I'm going to, what colors do I want to make the face? Alrighty, I have light peach, I have peach, and I also have French gray. All right, so let's kind of do this. Let's see how we're going to do it. Just kind of go in here. I know there's some darker spots there and there. It's all this dark spot over here because that's where the and over here. So wish her eyes are closed. All over here. Okay. I'm going with this lighter color. Just kind of blend all that in. is the lightest. This may be a little too gray for me. I don't want that. I think I'm just going to stick with this lighter peach. Okay, let's put a little bit more shade. Shadow shading, whatever.
right, let's take the Gamsol again and just blend it all together. I am going to give the unicorn a little bit of blush. Where would her blush be, though? I did a tiny, tiny bit, like right here. It's literally just a dab of it. Let's blend it in. Maybe a little bit of eyeshadow for her, too. There you go. How adorable is that? That is super cute. I love that. Super, super cute. Okay, now let's get some. Let me give her a um, really golden kind of hair. So I'm going to take, let's see, gold, golden rod and yellow ochre, ochre, I think. Okay, now let's just do the same exact thing, making sure I am on the camera. Alrighty, take that lighter golden, just kind of blend that in. Oops, missed a spot there, but it's okay. And the hair has lots of streaks in it anyway, so it's not as bad. Let's see, but the Gamsol will really bring it. Oops, I keep going out of focus. I'm sorry, guys. Let's work with this thicker side because, oops, I had a little bit of blue there. By a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Let me get my blue off of this. I guess I didn't clean it since last time I used it, whenever that was. But it's okay, she's gonna have a little bit of blue tint on her hair. Right. Uh, let's go back with this gold. I believe this was a gold, no. Was this a gold? Yeah because of that silly uh, blue. Go. 
Carl. Very cool. So now, for some of these other flowers, I think what I'm gonna do, because I know I'm doing, running very late, I'm just going to do some simple, simple shading. By shading, I really mean just scribbles. And then go with my Gamsel. And just really kind of blend it in. Take that a little bit more. go because not all of them have to have shading so See her little ear coming up there. There's that little ear. Cute. Even though I'm doing this like super fast, it's still cute. So you can only imagine uh, if you actually took your time, how much better this would be. <laughs> but I'm not taking my time, even though I should. Side. There's that. I'm going to let's see, make oops <laughs> it's okay we're not stressing you know what I'm noticing is some of the um, What's it called? Some of the uh, Prismacolors blend better than the others. So that's really interesting to me. I didn't think that. I thought they were all um, the same formula, so I thought they would all behave similarly, but it seems like they don't. Let's see if we can zoom out to show you. Isn't that adorable? And I did this like super messy and super fast, but like how adorable is it? You can totally go to town with really blending all this and really doing a great job. And I just kind of did it quickly, but I think it's super cute still. That's so cool. And I'm not good hi molly how are you i'm not a great colorer <laughs> so this is very um not not my thing but 
but I, I feel like I could still do it if I wanted to. Hey Molly, this is the Ink on 3 um, Fade Out Ink. And I am very, very pleased at how it is, um, how it does not react with um, the Gamsol. So I'm very happy about that. That's kind of what I, I wanted to test today. Thank you, Molly. I thought it was really, and I, I literally did this in like scribbles. They are scribbles, and I mean, you can kind of see it. It kind of gives it this like really nice watercolor look, like a very soft, just kind of cute little watercolor. And I can like, really, it's really neat. I really like how this fade out ink does. I'm excited that I'm gonna put some more little lines of highlights. There you go. I'm gonna give her some highlights on her hair. I like the little highlights. Go. There you go. It's cute little highlights, cute little flowers and just really sweet. I think I could pop this on a card and really make it cute. And maybe I'll show you guys the aftermath <laughs> aftermath of the card. But I've been here for uh, almost an hour. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys had some fun and you guys were able to see that I can you can scribble and still make pretty things. <laughs> so until next time, everybody. Bye bye. Have a wonderful day or actually one.